Weather Authority. We warn you first. Good morning, everyone. And while yesterday we had a really beautiful sunrise, we did notice that not much in the way of a sunrise right now because of those clouds really really blocking the sun rising right now as the sun will officially rise within 45 minutes but thanks to the partly to mostly cloudy skies we do have mild temperatures and even the threat of storms this afternoon and taking a look at the big picture we do have an upper level low pressure system spinning in the four corners region providing some clouds and even a couple of rain showers in the far northeastern part of the basin but mostly dry right now in Odessa and Midland those temperatures will also be warming up this afternoon with the threat of local thunderstorms. But for your morning commute, it should be a mostly dry one and a mostly mild one. Temperatures in the upper 60s, so feeling like summer, even though it's currently fall right now. And we will see a little bit more in the way of clouds this afternoon and breezy conditions as well, along with our chance of thunderstorms. And tracking those thunderstorms, we do notice they'll be very isolated in nature. Those yellows, oranges, and reds indicating gusty winds flash flooding and frequent lightning. So make sure you guys have the umbrella and are staying indoors just in case we are your local weather authority. We will let you know if there's any severe weather. Although I do think it's a very slim chance of severe weather for today. Mostly clear skies as we head out and about for tonight and early tomorrow morning with most storms really ending before dinner time. Overnight lows will be in the low to mid 60s, so a little bit above average for this time of year. And it should be a fairly nice night to go out and about with the drier conditions starting to take hold. But muggy conditions later in the overnight, so we could be seeing some patchy fog as you do see on this weather graphic. Temperatures starting off in the upper 60s and lower 70s, warming up into the upper 80s and maybe even some low 90s in places like Odessa and Midland. So these temperatures are as much as 5 to 10 degrees above average cooling off rapidly after dinner time into the mid to upper 70s thanks to those gusty winds and those storm chances and even cooler weather as we head out and about for tonight but again these overnight lows in the lower to mid 60s are a few degrees above normal for this time of year those temperatures will be really warming up tomorrow into the low 90s as much as six degrees above average in Odessa Midland with an overnight low of 67 degrees again about six degrees above that average low of 61 degrees, but not near that record high of 102 degrees in terms of those high temperatures, but still feeling like summer for, you know, the first couple of weeks of fall. And that's gonna be the case for the next couple of days with drier conditions as we head into tomorrow, but cooler air and stormy weather as we head later this week but drier conditions later this weekend. So we'll be talking about a little bit in the way of different weather conditions for the next several days as any rain chances and accumulations will be slim and on the lower side in the south and eastern parts of the basin. But as we head later in the week, especially as we head into Thursday night and Friday morning, we could be seeing locally a half an inch or more of rainfall this is much needed rainfall for the basin, so that is certainly some good news. And taking a look at that seven day forecast, we do notice that those rain chances increase later in the week. But for the next couple of days, not as high of a chance of rain. The warmest and driest day of the week will be tomorrow with more storms knocking down those temperatures in the mid 70s for Friday and Saturday, as much as 10 degrees below normal.